I have to say, I don't think there is any other stock that is as polarizing than MSTR. This is MicroStrategy. You could probably tell by the chart. There was some news that came out today that sent the stock lower by about 15%, and then the stock recovered and actually went green, and then you fell 20% by the end of the day. Now, here in this video, I will explain what's going on with MicroStrategy, but I will take it a step further than that. I will share with you the positives that MicroStrategy has going for them, the upside that MicroStrategy could see, at the same time acknowledging the pitfalls to MicroStrategy. So whether you are a bull or a bear, whether you are long or short, you will take away a much better understanding of where we are with MicroStrategy or MSTR and what could be coming next. Now, I want to say before we even talk about MicroStrategy at all, I really don't have a position in this name. I've traded it over the past couple of weeks, but that's the extent of it. So if you're looking for someone that is dead set on the stock to crash, or if you're looking at looking for someone dead set for the stock to go higher, this is not the video for you. I'm just giving you a balanced take of what's going on and what perhaps you could expect going forward. In simpler terms, I have no skin in the game, relatively speaking, very, very small position that is left over from different trades. So I'm neutral from a capital perspective. I will just say before we get into any of this information, I really don't have an open position in MSTR at the moment. I have been trading this stock, but I think that's the beautiful part of this video. I'm not a perma bear, nor am I a perma bull on this name. So if you really want that balanced perspective, this is a great video for you. So first and foremost, if you're new to MSTR, you've seen the stock acting crazy today, and you're just trying to figure out what's going on, let me give you a brief rundown of what has caused MSTR to go from $115 or so to $543 since September 9th. And it's pretty simple, and it's actually easy to understand. Some people call it a Ponzi scheme. I won't go as far as to say that, because normal Ponzi schemes, you don't know it's a Ponzi scheme, okay? Michael Saylor, the CEO of MicroStrategy, has essentially been doing this in the open. So whether you say it's a Ponzi scheme or not, you have to give him credit. He's doing this in front of everyone. There's no secret about it. So I think from a regulatory standpoint, there is a risk. We'll talk about that a little bit more throughout this video. But everyone kind of knows what's going on. So essentially, the long story short version is MicroStrategy. They sell stock and they raise debt with their bonds to buy more Bitcoin. They are the largest buyer of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin goes higher as they do this. And as the value of their Bitcoin exceeds the company value, they go out and they sell more of the company to buy more Bitcoin. That sends Bitcoin higher and they're rinsing and repeating this cycle. Now there's there's also clearly some positive things going in just the Bitcoin market. So I don't want to say MicroStrategy is the only reason why Bitcoin is going higher because that's absolutely ridiculous. There has been great news for crypto and Bitcoin has went a lot higher in you know recent weeks ever since President-elect Donald Trump has been elected again to be the 47th president. Bitcoin reached as high as $99,104 just, I mean, a couple of hours ago. It's now down to $98,177. And I think this is part of what's happening to micro strategy today. First and foremost, you did have a short report from Andrew Left. We'll look at what he exactly said here in just a moment. But Bitcoin is reaching $100,000. I think some people are nervous that we could sell off once we hit 
$100,000. That $100,000 could be a resistance that we've kind of just, you know, rallied like $25,000 since the election. And some people are saying maybe it's time for a bit of a break here in Bitcoin. Maybe we get some consolidation. Maybe Bitcoin falls a bit. And I think some traders are really getting ahead of that with micro strategy today. They're saying maybe we should take profits in micro strategy because Bitcoin's probably going to peak out at about 100,000 at least for a while and come down. There is a heavy amount of uncertainty around that. Bitcoin could continue to rally or it could very well peak out at $100,000 and perhaps fall to maybe 80,000. I think that's where um your next big level of support is really going to start to come in. That's that's right about here and we could we could honestly draw a line here at about 80,000 and you can really see the significance of 80,000. I mean, this was this is higher than any other time Bitcoin has ever been at and where some of the buying just started to get extreme above 80,000. Now, I want to be clear, longer term Bitcoin's going much higher than, you know, 100,000, but it's really just a short term uh, question at this point. Does Bitcoin break above 100,000 and rally from there or do you get a bit of a setback? And again, I think MicroStrategy is looking Looking like some traders are saying, hey, we could get a pause around 100,000. We could see some people starting to take some profits. Now, believe it or not, I actually think that's the biggest thing affecting MicroStrategy today. But you did have this short uh, update from Citron. I, I'm not going to call it a short report, but Citron Research on X writes this. How did this one age? Nearly four years ago to the date, Citron was the first to tell readers that MicroStrategy was the ultimate way to invest in Bitcoin, setting a $700 target. Fast forward to today, MSTR has skyrocketed to over $5,000 adjusted. Kudos to Michael Saylor for his visionary Bitcoin strategy. Now, with Bitcoin investing easier than ever, ETFs, coin, hood, MicroStrategy's volume has completely detached from Bitcoin fundamentals. While Citron remains bullish on Bitcoin, we've hedged with a short MSTR position. Much respect to Sailor, but even he must know MSTR is overheated. And this is what caused MicroStrategy to plummet in early trading today after MicroStrategy was up 15% in pre-market. You ended up falling to negative 15%. That was a 30% round move from $548 per share down to $425 per share, and then you proceeded to fall negative 20% after briefly bouncing and going positive again around two hours or so into the trading day. And you bounced a little bit into the close, but it looks like MicroStrategy MSTR is going to close under about $400 per share. Now, MicroStrategy is roughly a $100 billion market cap company. But it's really just a Bitcoin proxy. So the thing that's going to really affect MicroStrategy is what happens with Bitcoin. Now, things have taken a little bit more of a turn in recent weeks as MicroStrategy has raised additional capital and really bought Bitcoin with more leverage. Yes, MicroStrategy has gotten these loans at little or no interest because they're collateral backed. Now, what does this mean? Just to simplify this, it's kind of like using margin in 2020 with very little, you know, interest rates, like paying back the loan wasn't really a problem because inevitably you can pay it back by just selling a little bit of stock or Bitcoin or whatever, right? There's very little interest. That's really not the problem. But if you're all in in 2020, let's say for, for, for this, you know, example sake, and you have a stock that you're all in on and it does very bad all of a sudden, then you're forced to sell at very low levels. And it's a self-fulfilling prophecy on the downside as much as it, as it is on the upside, right? As much as MicroStrategy selling stocks, selling bonds, buying Bitcoin, leading Bitcoin to go higher, rinsing and repeating is is good on the on on the upside. It could be a self-fulfilling prophecy on the downside. If Bitcoin were to fall for one reason or another, doesn't matter why, 
But if it were to fall, then you start to see margin calls. We'll just call it margin calls. Once your equity in Bitcoin starts to drop to a certain level, MicroStrategy will be forced to sell a lot of Bitcoin. And that's the biggest risk when it comes to MicroStrategy. Now, I have no idea if that's actually going to happen. It really depends on what happens with Bitcoin. The danger zone would be if Bitcoin fell to 70 to 60,000, right? Factoring in the Bitcoin that MicroStrategy has bought over the years and factoring in the new buys that MicroStrategy has done in recent days around 80, 85, $90,000. So that would be the issue. If Bitcoin were to fall to like 60,000, 70,000 perhaps, you could start this self-fulfilling negative cycle with Bitcoin and MSTR. And that's where the stock would get absolutely pummeled. On the other hand, if Bitcoin shoots above $100 or $100,000, then MicroStrategy following today's 20-ish percent fall would have quite a bit of upside from current levels. And I would like your comments down below in the comment section. Do you think Bitcoin's going to rocket above 100,000 in the short term? Or do you think we're going to have a bit of a fall? If you think Bitcoin's gonna fall, you also are saying MSTR is gonna fall. If you say Bitcoin is going to rise, you're also saying MicroStrategy is gonna rise. See how simple it really is? Now, MicroStrategy announced today that they have completed a $3 billion offering of convertible senior notes due 2029 at a 0% coupon rate and 55% conversion premium. So this is great for MicroStrategy. Okay, yes, it does mean longer term, you could see more dilution, and I'm going to spare you all of the reading of this mumbo jumbo. It's as simple as it sounds, really. But here it says the conversion rate for the notes is initially 1.4872 shares of MicroStrategy's Class A common stock per $1,000 principal amount of notes, which is equivalent to an initial conversion price of approximately $672.40 per share. This represents a premium of approximately 55% over the U.S. composite volume weighted average price of MicroStrategy's Class A common stock from 1.30 p.m. through 4 p.m. So basically what it's saying is if MicroStrategy goes up a lot, these bondholders will have the option to purchase shares at $672.40 per share by 2029. Honestly, it's a hell of a deal for MicroStrategy. $3 billion at a 0% interest rate for five years? I think any company would take that deal. But again, it's highly leveraged. And the problem would be if the principal asset were to decline, which is Bitcoin. And that's really what you want to be watching if you are an investor in MicroStrategy. Really, trader, I don't know how many people are actually truly investing in MicroStrategy at this point. I think the investors bought way earlier. Now, what a lot, a lot of people point out is the short position in MicroStrategy. Short interest of free float sits at 15.36% with $13.28 billion sold short in MicroStrategy. This is up almost 250% in three months. So safe to say, if you didn't already know, short sellers in MicroStrategy, MSTR, are getting absolutely wrecked. Okay. Now, days to cover sits at 1.49 as volume has come into the stock. And you currently have 28.02 million shares that are sold short. Surprisingly, it looks like today you actually did not see shorts cover at all on short positions you actually seen shorts take out new short positions net net about 300,000 shares were sold short today so if you are truly a bull on micro strategy the bull case comes in as bitcoin crossed above 100,000 let's say it goes to 110,000 and short sellers get margin called and get forced to essentially close out of their short positions and at this point with things going so right for Bitcoin, 
I mean, it's a tough argument to say you should be short in, in MSTR. I think after, you know, a chart looks like this, people want to short the stock. But it, just naturally, they want to short the stock. But I don't like those prospects. Now, even if you look at options markets, they are so expensive, it's almost sickening. That just means people are, are expecting MicroStrategy could move up 50 or down 50% over the next like month or so. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous what the markets are pricing in for the move for MSTR. Now today, you had 97 million shares that actually traded hands. This is the largest volume you have, have seen ever in MicroStrategy's you know, recent history. You've, you've never seen anything like this. So if there was a day for the rally to top out, it could be today because you really need volume to continue to go higher to ramp a you know squeeze or, or, or just a rally in general. Um, typically, when volume starts to die down is when the stock price tends to die down as well. So heading into tomorrow, if you're a bull, you really want to see volume ramp up a bit here. If you're a bear, you want to see volume ramp down. More specifically, you want to see Bitcoin get rejected around $100,000, which if you're going to break $100,000, it could happen tonight. If you don't, then uh, you would want to see, obviously, Bitcoin fall. And that's going to be the biggest driving influence to MicroStrategy. And this is just a high risk, high reward kind of trade at this point. I think as the stock hit over $500 per share, it becomes more of a risk than a reward. The stock could continue to fly, though, right? I, you know, this chart reminds me of like SMCI when it first got going, when the stock went from, you know, like pre like adjusted terms, like $5 to or pre-adjusted from like $30 to $200. People are like, oh yeah, okay, we're going to short the stock here. And then it went to $1,000. People are like, what is going on? And then the stock just held there for a while, right? That could also happen as well. So these are just my thoughts. There was actually news out today that Trump's crypto advisory council, something that has been announced in recent days, is expected to set up a promised Bitcoin reserve, according to Reuters. So maybe even the government could buy Bitcoin in that sense, which is definitely something to be excited about. I think Bitcoin has been kind of forecasting something like this that has already accounted for some of the move. So if you are someone that is trading MSTR, just keep in mind, you need to be prepared for this thing to go back to $150 per share, or you need to be prepared for this thing to rally to a thousand or more. And, and, and maybe, you know, both could happen. Who knows? We've, we've seen crazy things happen before. I think, though, I just personally believe Bitcoin's probably going higher, which means MSTR is probably going higher. But clearly, that's just an opinion and anything can happen. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I would love to get your feedback on this one because I think any feedback is is notable is, is is worth highlighting because nobody really knows what's going to happen when all things are said and done thank you for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one